Good evening, welcome to a new episode of Little Known Useful R Functions, a show where I very quickly discuss some useful functions that are usually not available on CRAN. So for tonight, I have the paint package for you. Uh, and the paint package doesn't really tell you what it does, but it does something quite interesting. I've been using it for some weeks now, and it is useful. So when you have a data frame uh, object that you want to just you know, print on your console, this is what happens. You just see the, the, the last X rows. So it's not very useful. So usually you have to like do a head and then you know you see the names of the you see the names of the columns, but you still don't know if you know if this is if those are integers or you know maybe uh, maybe some 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 factor variable here the same. You don't really know what's going on here. With tables, okay, you have something a, a bit better because at least you see right what is going on. So you, you, you know that these are doubles, these are uh, integers, etc. But you don't see, uh, you only see the, the top 10 rows, which might be enough, might not be enough. But you have some other weirdities. Weirdities. I don't know if that's a word. Um, here, you don't n notice that. But if you have long column names, those get truncated, which can sometimes be a bit painful. So this gets truncated. Here you see and three more variables. So there's three more variables that you don't see, that don't fit in the console. So this is also a bit problematic sometimes. You also have this weird, well, I don't know if it's useful or, or not. I guess it is sometimes. But for example, here you notice it very well. You have this 3.54 and here you have the 10. That is, you know, it's not on the same, on the same column. I guess it can um, make it easier to, to read, but uh, sometimes it's also a bit weird, especially if you have a lot of uh, these positive and negative values and decimals and not decimals. It can it can get messy. It can get messy. Then finally, you have data tables, which um, are well, which have some other shortcomings, but some other advantages. First of all, you see uh, every column, which is nice. You see every column. As far as I remember, the names of the columns don't get truncated. So this is not maybe the best example, because here, for tables, you wouldn't see that here either. And for data tables, you don't see it either. But I don't think that data tables um, truncate the column names, which is also nice. Um, but you don't see the types of the variables. And you see, well, this, I don't know, again, if it's useful or not. Maybe it is. You see the first five rows and the five last ones. I guess it's not so bad. So there's some good ideas here in the um, for the data tables. There's some good ideas for the tables. And I guess it's only really the data frames that the print method for the data frames that really suck. Um, Paint solves this by first of all providing one uh, print method for all these objects, which is nice. It's a consistent print method, and it gives you the information that you want. So you load the package. And then you can paint wages. And here you see something really cool. First of all, the data table or, or the data frame, your data set is, um, how should I say, transposed in a way. So you see the columns here are listed. It's a list basically now. Uh, it's, it's listed. In, and you see here wage is the first column, then educ, etc. Names don't get truncated. You see the types. And you see the first x value. So I think by default, I think it looks at like your, I think it, I read that it looks at your font size and your terminal size. And it kind of, I, I don't know if it's hard coded, this six, but you can change that. You can also change the colors. Uh, if you don't want any colors, you can just put it in white or whatever, or you can use any other color you want. So this, I think, is pretty cool. And it looks a lot like the glimpse function. Um, it looks a lot like the glimpse function that is available in dplyr, which is pretty nice uh, as well. So you see, it's kind of a bit of the same uh, idea. You see also the rows. Uh, you see, well, here yeah, I, I, I showed empty cars. You see the columns, but you don't have these nice colors here. Let's actually let's take a look at wages instead of empty cars. Um, yeah, it's 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 as you see inspired by it. But um, the advantage is that you have these colors that might help you uh, read because you know that this uh, gold color is always a second observation, etc. Here you might get lost 
which is not the case here. These colors actually help you read, which is pretty nice. Um, and then, of course, uh, it works the sa same way for tables. It works the same way for data tables. And uh, you always know what, it, what you're looking at. You know this is a data table. This is a table. So many rows, so many columns. You see all the columns. They're not truncated. And the colors, again, here help you uh, read the data. And again, you can configure it. You can put more rows if you want, etc. cetera. Uh, you, if you then just type wages, you get your default print method again, but you can override that with the function mask print. So if you run mask print and then you just type wages or you know, wages DT, you get this uh, print method from the paint package. And of course, you can put that in your R profile, so it gets loaded whenever you start R, and you have immediately this pretty cool uh, print method. Um, you can then, of course, go back. Actually, I think you can write unpaint wages if you want to go back to the default print method. And you could also say, well, unmask print. So now, if you type wages, you get the default print method um, by default. That's it. So I think this is a cool package. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to, to updates. So this package, I will, of course, link the repository in the description. Um, I think it's really cool. Give it a try. Uh, and who knows, maybe, maybe it's going to become a big one. I think this could be really become a big one. I think people are, uh, will find this useful. I think they will find this useful because this, the, you know, this, this dif different print methods for, for these different objects, they they all they're all different first of all, which is which is a bit uh, annoying, and they as you know as the author of the package uh, says they, they all of them have some nice ideas, but none of them have them all at the same time. And Paint really I think Paint really really solves these issues. So give it a spin. It's not on Cran, but uh, that's the pro the point also of, of these videos is to show you stuff that is not on Cran, and uh, yeah. Just uh, just give it a spin. Enjoy.